Yeah, I'm stopping. You are stopping. Yeah. Okay, so um, enjoy the evening. I will, uh, I'm sure it will be a full cool, cool one. Thank you. City. 
Um, but just to know that, that you know that there is kind of a network of knowledge that also expresses here, and it was not that we went on the Bauhaus mission and said, oh, people, you have to know something about the Bauhaus. It was just the opposite to listen to what actually would need to be addressed in a local context. And that was the um, exhibition uh, poster, sorry, and, and the new China Design Museum, which was a quite the opposite of the Lecuc in Rambat. Uh, really a highly political event where we also partially had to re-narrate some of the Bauhaus um, kind of um, important uh, conceptual uh, uh, framings of their pedagogy. <coughs> and here we both, granted and me, decided to look really at this holistic approach of the synthesis of the arts and uh, how they have been integrated from the interior production to the exterior. And, also to relate to architecture production. And with our partners in China, there was also very new research um, generated. And I think that's also part of the project. That it's not just kind of um, representing something, but actually creates actually new research approaches. And our Chinese partners make some of an amazing uh, connection to, on the one hand, um, uh, the uh, global modernist movement, but on the other, also to uh, kind of local uh, political design politics, as well as later in the system competition between you know, the Soviet Union and uh, the uh, capitalist West, and how um, the GDR was also influential to bring back also Bauhaus ideas to China, which is a rare situation of post-89 research. Um, and going uh, further on, there was also research uh, uh, on the relation between uh, the schools in India, Ahmedabad, and the uh, National Design Center and the High Fe Ulm, um, also done by a local researcher in relation to grants, interest, as well as uh, uh, much more to be told. But there was also a focus on the Soviet Union and on the uh, communist and socialist legacy of the power world, which had been suppressed also in the whole narrative that Brokius created after uh, the Second World War. And it was kind of a one could say ideological battle in the reception history and Maya and um, and his students and also the <coughs> one side part tragic um, travel migrations um, have been written out of the Bauhaus uh, narrative for a long time and it is also due to um, the help of uh, local researchers in Moscow as well as in uh, from other localities, oh, that's completely destroyed, why, why I don't know. Um, uh, and, um, and, and that also means that we were also looking beyond maybe narratives that are already existing, because for sure the fantastic work of Ariel Chauvin is very much highlighted uh, in several exhibitions before, but um, I think some of his projects have been underestimated, and that is for sure, for sure the campus uh, that he was built in post-independence Nigeria, and it's also a question how you know this kind of um, work in Nigeria has influenced and changed his own uh, work. So it's not only um, about uh, this kind of political circumstances, but it's also the question, I mean, how he reacted to the demands of a, a post-colonial or moment of decolonization, also decolonization of the curriculum. Um, corresponding with is uh, the chapter which looks uh, on the pedagogy. Essentially, um, uh, also the centers uh, the pedagogy of uh, the Bauhaus in a way um, that we compare um, the uh, 1990 moment of the post revolution and post war situation in Germany with um, others, uh, other schools. We, yesterday, we had the chance to uh, see already one artist commission by the Ottolith group, which actually uh, reflects on Chantilly Cape and the Tagore School. But there's also another school. Um, that uh, we uh, address in, uh, in, in, that is in Tokyo and was founded by Rajashiro Kawakita in the 1930s, uh, which related strongly to the Bauhaus, but had also kind of a career and hybrid reading of uh, that concept and translated it into a new modernism. And this is a school, again, with the local researchers that had been underestimated in the local concept, uh, context. So it's something that we choose to kind of create new research also for in the kind of local um, surrounding, almost through that is a, a, we are really looking forward right to meet this exhibition in the Museum of uh, Modern Art in uh, Kyoto, and um, and then there will be also.
course, for this is chapter, a very interesting um, uh, symposium happening a little bit similar like this one, where we will discuss um, the questions of new institution building and the need for new forms of pedagogy, also from a contemporary perspective. Because I think some of that, what the Bauhaus has envisioned as a utopia, is still not here. It is a synthesis in the division of the arts um, and also the question of the uh, societal function of the arts. Uh, which we are still struggling with, and I think we had some of that discussion in our workshop uh, in the last days, and I would like to give Brian now the word. Oh, yeah. <laughs>